Hey guys, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how we can use the photo P create application to use this. Um, to let's say create some templates, some patterns to some t-shirt designed, clothing designed, whatever you want to do. We can do a lot of stuff here into photop.com. I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can't have get few rewards just by signing up. What I do love about this application is that we can't use PDS templates. So if I choose PDS templates, of course, I need to generate or look for like the new topics that we do have available in here. So let's say that I want to look for a mockup. A mockup, it's let's say, for example, like a template, something that has been already created and we can edit um, by just by default. So here into the heart, I want to go into search and I want to look for shirt or I'm going to hit for logo or something like that. So I do have the t-shirt mockup. I do have different options in here, but I want to focus into the first one that was created just a month ago. And here I do have the t-shirt mockup. And here I do have good perfect presentation, blah, blah, blah. Simple double click into these layers. So if I go in here, it's going to be sending me into another section, another website where I can download this mockup and I can edit my mockup as I want to do. So I do have instructions here. Click the download button to save the achieved and I can open this in Photoshop and or a newer version and I can uh, just edit that into my website. But if you don't have Photoshop, for example, if you um, just going to be using this application for your own purposes without having to use uh, Photoshop or Canva, for example. Canva is totally for free, but if you don't have anything here, uh, what I want to do is create a new presentation. So here into this uh, template, I'm going to be choosing, for example, uh, let's go for Facebook page cover. And I want to look for something. Uh, in here into my keywords, I'm going to go for shirt and here into shirt, I'm going to hit enter and let's see what they do have here for me. So I'm going to create and here we go. So now what I can do here into the photo P is to import the template that we downloaded or we can create our first um, item, our first product. In my case, I don't want to create for example, um, just like a logo for my t-shirt. So here I do have different elements. We can go into uh, the rectangle here, into the ellipse line, different options in here. This is just like an alternative for you if for people who don't have Photoshop. So here I can move this like this and I'm gonna go into the T like this. I'm gonna add this new element. And as you can see, I can just start to edit whatever I want to do. So here I'm going to go with Deja Vu like this. I'm going to hit into play. Our own elements, as you can see, I've created something like really, really easy. And once you finish here, I can just download this and use this as a template for a custom t-shirt. So uh, I want to go back into the custom PDS file that we do have in here and I want to download this totally for free. So here I do have the option of download. I'm going to go into download. I'm going to just delete this for a second. And as you can see, here's my mockup. So once you do have your design already created, if you want to start selling, I can strongly suggest you to use different um, uh, print out demands, for example, print for or printify. So here you have to choose like a custom t-shirt uh, and a specific clothing that you want to use. For example, I want to choose this uh, hoodie. And here, this hoodie, I just need to import the image that I just created, which in our case, that would be this one, remember? Now, if I do want to go into a new file, I'm gonna go into new, and here I'm gonna go into create, I'm gonna go into open, and here to open, I'm going to go for my download and here I want to look for the markup that we just downloaded using the same uh, platform. So it's going to be appearing something like downloading uh, here and I do have a lot of options that appears in here. So I do have a markup of a sample in red color. I have Puma, I have Nike, I have a lot of graphics family and this is the awesome part. I can just 
to use the free t-shirt and tag uh, markup and here it says your design here you can enable and disable this um this design and here what i want to do is to go into this option and here i want to go into file i want to go into share or save export as png file because i don't want to see the background i want to go for a save so i'm going to go back here into my t-shirt and here i want to import the image that i just downloaded into my uh, markup of my t-shirt so either I can choose to edit that in here into the photo P or I can just add that as my own. So I want to go back into the first part of photo P. So I'm going to go in here and then here what I want to do is to go into the loan section. So here into the left section is going to be helping us a lot to start right away here into photo P. So I just want to focus into mockups. So mockups is going to be helping me to make something like this. So if you want to use the mockups, uh, it will be really, really easy to just drag your your design in here uh, and replace that for, uh, rather than this one. But if you want to create, let's say, for example, like a text or like a brand or wherever you are going to be adding into your T-shirt, what you want to do is to add a new file like in here and uh, in here what you want to do is to use a new layer you want to delete this background because we're not going to be using this background and here into this layer what i want to do is to start to assign in my own my custom uh my custom design so here i'm going to tap like an s like it like this something like that i mean this is just uh, really really easy this is just like an example of what we can do here this is like too broad and I'm gonna go into an ellipse like this I'm gonna leave it like that my full design into this website and I can go into file I want to go into save more or export as PNG file so I choose PNG file and I import that into my other mockup which that would be this one into my t-shirt and if you want to sell this i once again strongly recommend that you use printify printful or whatever uh other uh, print of demand that you have available into your country of course you want to import your logo which is actually this one that we just created and i'm going to get into apply and here is my logo added into my uh into my custom t-shirt into my hoodie so there you go so as you can see guys, it wasn't that hard to do that using the Great Photo P. You can use all the mockups as you want to do. There are a lot of categories, there are a lot of plugins that you can add, different brochures, gradient style, patterns, a lot, a lot, a lot of tools that you can use here to work into Photo P. This is like a, a totally version for Photoshop. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you guys on the next video.